What's up guys? This is tutorial number two on the OpenGL 2.0 era from Angry Birds. I had a lot of angry people uh, sending me messages because this did not work for them or they believed that the tutorial was fake. So I decided to do a revised one and give you a little more in-depth detail. Now this is going to be for Windows XP. If you have questions about Windows 7, I will have the information in the description box. Please check there before sending messages asking questions about Windows 7. I don't have this on my Windows 7 computer, so this is what I have to work with. All right, if you have a problem where you click on Angry Birds and you get this, OpenGL 2.0 render not supported. This could be because of several reasons and people got that misconstrued on the video. That is not the only reason this is caused. This happened to me because I do video tutorials and when I do I have to turn my acceleration all the way down so I don't have a lag in my mouse. So when I went to play Angry Birds I got this. Once I did the research I realized that I needed to fix that by doing what I did in my first tutorial which I'll go over again. All right, you want to close that out, go to your start button, go to control panel. You're going to double click display. You're going to go to settings. Then you're going to hit the advance button right here beneath color quality. Once that window comes up, you want to click on troubleshoot. As you can see, if you do video tutorials, I had to turn your hardware acceleration all the way down for some reason, it's going to be set to none. What you want to do is slide this all the way to full. You don't have to slide it all the way up to full, but you don't want to have it on none because the game will not operate properly. All right, then you want to apply those settings. Your screen will go blank for a minute, but it'll come right back. And then you just hit OK on that screen and now I'm getting a lag in my mouse so this is what I mean this is why it was turned down in the first place anyway you go back to Angry Birds double click and as you can see it's gonna open now in my first tutorial I stopped here because I thought that's all you needed to see, but some people had the misunderstanding that this was just a picture. This is the actual Angry Birds game. So I'm gonna let it load and actually show you the screen to show that this is not a picture. I don't have time to put up fake tutorials. I really don't. So this is a real tutorial. So let's hold on a minute and let that load and I'll actually show you a little bit of the screen so you know it's not a picture. And that's the play button. And my mouse is lagging. My computer's a little slow because of the video acceleration. It's turned all the way up. So I'm gonna actually exit out of this. Okay, we're back at our main screen. I had to go back and turn my acceleration all the way back down because there was terrible, terrible lag in my mouse. So um, I changed those settings back for tutorial purposes. But as you can see, that is the actual game. It's not just a photo of a game okay all right the most common this is for Windows 7 and Windows XP by the way the most common reason that you would get that open GL error is because you need to update your video drivers on Windows XP you're gonna hit the start you're gonna go to control panel then you want to go down to system go to hardware and hit device manager okay go under display adapters and you'll see your graphics controller here you want to right click that and you want to update your driver right now I'm not connected to the internet so it's not gonna work for me you want to update that and once you update it it's gonna ask you to restart your computer once you restart your computer, your game should work if that is the problem. 
Another thing you can do, Windows 7 users, right click on your Angry Birds icon, go to Troubleshoot Compatibility, and change your settings to Windows XP SP2. Um, that is a problem that I've had with using Sims on Windows 7, so that may also help you out. So this is pretty much the tutorial. If none of this worked for you, I'm sorry. These are things that work for me or that I found work for other people. And I just found these solutions by Googling it. You may want to check your video card and make sure it's not defective. You also may want to check your computer and make sure the specifications meet the requirements of the game. It's pretty much that simple. So thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.